Core of Discovery is a cooperative deduction game based off the graphic novel Manifest Destiny. It's 1804 and your intrepid crew has been tasked with ridding the land of the various monsters that have been ravaging it, along with the assistance of the local indigenous people. The game is played over a series of days in which you'll need to face various challenges as well as threats all while working towards completing the objective of the chapter that you're playing. In this overview, we'll be focusing on this game through the lens of Chapter 2, Flora. In Flora, your crew will be facing an invasive plant species that takes over the mind and body of anything that it touches. You will be searching the lands, fighting infected with fire, and searching for Greek fire, the ultimate weapon to kill the giant plant. Every player begins with a crew card as well as two gear to aid them on their journey. On your turn, you will explore a path and you can perform any number of free actions. When you explore a path, you will always be taking it orthogonally adjacent to a path you have already explored. At the beginning, you have a start location and you'll be choosing something orthogonally adjacent to it. You can then optionally take the resource that's depicted in the location that you have exposed. You will then place the sun token on the leftmost challenge card on the supply board. Now each challenge card has a list of requirements that you will need to provide in order to pass it. You must meet these requirements by the time you have accrued the number of sun tokens on that card equivalent to the number on the top right of the card. When this time has been reached, you may pay the resources required in order to receive the pass benefit. If, however, you cannot pass or you choose not to pay the resources, you will have to deal with the fail consequences. Once resolved, that challenge is discarded and then you evaluate if you're experiencing fatigue by carrying too many resources in your backpack. If you are, you must discard one water at this time. Three actions you can do on your turn include paying the resources to build a fire or paying the resources to build a shelter. The benefit of building a shelter is you'll no longer have to deal with the regular fatigue effects. Other free actions include using gear cards, character abilities, any destiny cards, or killing a monster. In Flora, you are following a search path that will ultimately lead you to the giant plant. You will progress along the path when finding one of the matching terrain types. As you move through the land, you will be choosing locations to explore based on the logic rules on your reference board. They will be rules such as water is always orthogonally adjacent to wood and vice versa, or berries are diagonally adjacent to teepees and vice versa. Mountains are always connected and are considered impassable as depicted by the red border. When you come across a teepee, you can exchange one resource. And when you unveil a lair, you will draw a threat card. If it is a minotaur, that minotaur will impede your progress. You will need to pay a resource in order to explore in the row or column that that minotaur is in. However, if you have found Sakagawea, she will kill all minotaurs on your board in perpetuity. If you come across hill terrains, they will tell you how many infected locations are within that row or column. Now, when you come across an infected location, you must kill it with fire. If you do not have a fire token to kill it, one of your crew must die immediately. If you weren't able to kill it, then you take the corresponding infected token from your reference board and place it in that location. This location is now impassable until you are able to kill it with fire. You do not get the resource of that location until you're able to do so. Now, if all crew members die, including the one on the path, the game is over and you have lost. The game is also over if at any time you run out of water or if at the end of the day you are unable to feed your crew. To win the game, you must reach the giant plant at the end of the search path. You must also have with you Greek fire and you'll also need any of the resources on the backs of the search cards that you have passed through. However, if you have any crew still alive, you may place them on some of the resources on these cards and then you do not need to provide those ones. If you don't have all the resources that you need, play continues until you accrue them. And in a nutshell, that's how you play Core of Discovery Chapter 2, Flora. In order to... <laughs> it's 
1804, and your intrepid crew of explorers have been tasked with the colossal job. <laughs> Flavor text. <laughs> your turn. You will explore a path, and you can do any number. Number. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be rules such as water is always orthogonally adjacent to wood. <laughs> to win the game, you must reach the giant pan. And in a nutshell, that's how you play Core of Discovery Chapter 2 Fauna. Flora. 